I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question which has been shared by my subscriber. So let me first thank my subscriber for actively participating and giving me opportunity to work with such beautiful questions. The question here is, a right circular cone is inscribed in a cylinder. Total surface area of the cone is 6512 centimeter square right it should be square and the circumference of its base is 88 centimeter find the volume of the cone and find the volume of the cylinder so that's the question for you you can pause the video answer the question and then look into my suggestions so let us first sketch it let's say we have a cylinder here And within the cylinder, we have a cone inscribed. Now, do you know how the volume of both are related? Volume of cone is one third the volume of cylinder, since we can have three cones in it, right? So that's one thing you should know. So basically, in this question, even if we find volume of cylinder, we can find volume of cone. The multiple is one third, right? So that's important to understand. Okay. Now let's see how to solve this question. Now what are we given? We are given that total surface area, right? So we are given surface area of what? Of the cone, right? Surface area of cone. Surface area of the cone is the bottom surface area. If I assume this to be of radius r, then the circle has an area of pi r square, right? That's one thing plus the lateral area so this side right if you open it up it will give you a rectangle and you can find the area to be as pi r l where l is this length right so l is this length for you so that's the formula for surface area of the cone we are given this as equal to 6512 correct right? that is what it is now we are also given the circumference of the base itself. We know the circumference of the base. So circumference wedges of a circle, the formula is 2 pi r, right? And that we are given as 88. What we need to find is volume of the cylinder. Let me write down the formula here. It is area of the base, which is pi r squared times height and volume of the cone i will write this as one third the volume of cylinder right so it is one third of that so that is how all the formulas are related now actually you can pause the video use these formulas and figure out the answer right okay so our approach here is that from the second equation which is basically the equation of circumference uh, this is my second equation and that's my first equation. So from the second equation, let's find R. Once we find R, we can place it there and find L. And after finding length, we can find the height, right, using Pythagorean theorem. Once we find the height, we can find the volume, right? So these are the steps involved. Perfect. Okay. So let us isolate R and find R from equation 2. So from here, we can say 2 pi r equals to 88. So r is equals to 88 divided by 2 pi. You can keep this as 44 divided by pi. Or you could also convert this to decimal numbers as you wish. Okay. Let me convert this to decimal numbers. 44 divided by pi, so which is this value, equals to. 14.0056 so let me take this value as 14 is it okay so we'll take this value approximately to 14 okay so the radius for us is 14 okay once we know the radius let's call this equation as 3 so we found radius okay we can substitute this value of radius in our equation number so we have pi r square. So let me write this as pi. Radius is 14. 
14 square plus pi radius is 14 L equals to 6512. The only unknown is slant length or slant height which is L. So we can isolate L and find it out, right? So from here we can say length L is equals to 6512. Then we'll take away this number which is minus pi times 1 4 square. Let me do it in two steps. We'll write this as pi times 14 for the time being. Okay? Let's figure this out and then we will divide by that number to find L, right? So we have uh, 6512 take away 3.14. This time I'm using 3.14, which you can use, right? Times uh, 14 square. And that gives you, uh, let's round to two decimal places. Okay. So this is equals to 5896.56. Okay. So L is equals to this number 5896.56 divided by uh, pi times 14. Let me write 14 pi, right? So let's do this. So this number we are going to divide by in the bracket. Let me write down 14 times pi, which is 3.14 bracket close equal to. So we get a value which is length of 134 point, let's say 13. So that is the slant height L. So let's call this as our equation number 4. So we know L is 134.13, right? Now from here we can find the height H. We can use the Pythagorean theorem to find height. So height square, we can do it here, okay. Okay, let's find all the unknowns on this side only and then we'll find volume on the other side. Perfect. So, height square is equal to L square minus R square, right? Or we can say height is equal to square root of L square minus R square, correct? So, that is the formula which we are going to use to find the height of this cylinder or cone. Since they tightly fit, it is inscribed in it, uh, you know, the height is common to both, right? So we know height is square root of slant height is 134.13 square minus radius is 14 square square root. So this is what will give us height. So let's do it. We have within square root 134.13 square take away 14 square and that is equal to 133.39 so we get uh, 133.39 let me call this as 133.4 okay so i'm using height of 133.4 so we have height equals to 133.4 all are in centimeters correct so let's write down what all we got so we have R, which is equals to 14 centimeters, height equals to 133.14 centimeters. These two things are required to find the volume. So let's find the volume of the cylinder first. So volume of cylinder equals to pi R square H. So that is equal to pi, which is 3.14, R, which is 14, and height which is 133.14 in our case right so we'll just multiply these things and get our answer right so we'll use 3.14 times 14 square times 133.14 equals to and it is 81939.6 right so we'll round this to let us say 81940 and the units will be centimeter cube is it okay centimeter cube you could always convert that to liters okay that's the volume of the cylinder so what is the volume of the cone volume of the cone is one third volume of cylinder right 
So which is one third of this number, which is 81940, that is equals to so I'll just divide this by 3, which is equal to, let me write down here, 27313.2, right? So, so rounding to whole numbers, let us write down our answers. Volume for the cone is 273113 centimeter cube. And that for the cylinder is 81940. 81940 centimeter cube. So I hope you find it very informative and the process is kind of tricky since we have to work with these formulas and then get the answer. So excellent question. Thanks for sharing this beautiful question. Keep on posting and active participation is highly appreciated. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. And if you like, put some like. Thank you and all the best.